Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about PROG. Now we're currently trading at 399 here in after hours, down around almost 11% on the day from yesterday's trading session. Now we ended the day below this 38.2 FIB level. That was key for us to hold. We did not hold that. Um, so therefore that is gonna be our immediate resistance. That's right around where that nine day EMA is currently trading to that 417, 418 area. Um, but we could not hold those. Um, so therefore now we, this 50% FIB is in play as well as filling this gap here down to right around those 350. So we're looking at the 50% FIB first. Um, that's going to be right around 355, that gap that we have to fill right at 350, 349. Um, that should give us some good support. We consolidated here for a couple of weeks, um, three or four weeks ago. So that should be a nice support for us in here to consolidate and just kind of sit on, kind of reset the RSI. As you can see, they're both kind of neutral RSI and stochastics. If that 50% FIB retrace does not hold, we're looking at the 200-day moving average here. Um, it's kind of right where that 61 0.8 FIB level is right around the 292 areas and your 50% or your 50 day moving average is currently right there as well. So uh, a lot of action going there. If that 50% FIB retrace does not hold, then we're looking at the 61.8 and that should give us a nice little bounce. Uh, but again, we'll have to wait and see if we do end up getting down that far here um, in the immediate future. I'm not sure that we will. I think that 50% FIB retrace will be a nice area for us to bounce. It'll be enough of a pullback in here to kind of reset everything. Uh, so we can start working our way either they're consolidating a little bit more or start working our way higher. Now, resistance wise, we mentioned that we um, were below that 38.2 FIB level. Therefore, that's going to be our first resistance. Above that, we're looking at that 23.6 FIB. That's currently trading up here right around those 492s. And then we have a little bit of a resist resistance here right around that 520 area. And then above that, we're looking at the nice whole numbers, 556 all the way up to that high that we printed here um, last Wednesday at 620. Now we mentioned the IV in here um, was relatively high. Um, it's 44 right now. So maybe we can get a little contraction in here, but we have enough juice to kind of do whatever we want. But we're looking for a little bit of a contraction in here, especially if they get that RSI and uh, coming back down, we get a nice little pullback here um, to that 50% FIB. Um, so we have to wait and see what happens on that front. Raw IV, basically in your 200s and all your expiration cycles. Your short week, everybody's pricing in right around 38 cents. Next Friday, everybody's pricing around uh, right around 87 cents. You go to December 17th, everybody's pricing in right around a buck 50. You go to January uh, monthlies, everybody's pricing in right around $2.30. So again, just to reiterate, watch out that 38.2 FIB level that we closed below today. That's going to be our first and immediate resistance. Above that, we're watching that 23.6 FIB level for our next resistance. Um, our support is going to be that 50% FIB down here. And then we're going to see if we can fill that gap while we're down here as well. Um, and then watch out for your IV, see if you can get a nice contraction in here um, going forward. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on our social media. We have attached links to our socials in the description. And we also have a trading service if you're interested. There's more information in the description below.